pretty. That is definitely a pickup. What in the heck is that doing there? There is nothing around here. Railroad tracks bridge? Right here. Yeah. We're in front of it. Alright. Maybe, maybe dude's a fisherman and he came back here and just kind of bloop bloop, just went off. Three weeks ago, 72-year-old Roland Edward Daniels went missing out of Childersburg, Alabama. He was last seen in the city, and he just up and vanished without a trace. He is also missing in his pickup truck. I believe it's a Toyota Tacoma, and that is bringing us right here to the river behind us. Because nine times out of 10, when somebody goes missing in their vehicle, they're either buried in the woods or they're in a body of water. So that is what we're doing today. We're gonna to be searching this body of water behind us. Hopefully we can find this vehicle and bring the family some answers. A lot of these cases, I'm starting to notice that they all have the same theme. There is, it's either age, um, suicide, accident, but they all like it's it's there's not that many cases that are different from the other one. When you think about the big the big scheme of things, you know the big picture. This case, for instance, he is older, uh, possible dementia, and uh, it is a straight shot. Here's the road, straight shot down the road, right into the water. He very well could have been flying down this road and just kept on going and busted through them trees, and he's right here. We don't even know, but we already have the boat in the water. We're going to start searching, shooting the sonar. I hope we find something. I really do. Uh, it's only been three weeks. It'd be really nice if this guy was still alive. But, uh, you know, if he made it into the water with his truck, um, I hope we can find him today. That way the family can have answers. They don't need to be sitting around for months and months and months not knowing what happened to their loved ones. So that's what we're doing today. Rah. All right. Alright, what are we looking at here? 11, 11 feet is deep enough. Right off the bat, the really cool thing is it's very sandy bottom, not very rocky. You'll be able to see a vehicle easily. I mean, you can see as plain as day, the bottom is like, oh, as I speak, there's something sitting right there. Go back over that. Like the whole thing is mud, and I hear some gravel over here, but this is all just sand. But there's something. There's something there. Let's go back and look at that. Let's go up. Uh, full screen. That's definitely a hatchback. That right there, go back. Right there, that's the window to the hatch. Yeah, you could definitely. I would put money on that one. That's that's some kind of hatch. Oh yeah, station definitely wagon. a hatch. Station wagon or hatchback. It's got a rear window. That's definitely the the, the rear end of it. That's, that's thousand percent not a pickup Maybe truck. Maybe we could pull that one out. Maybe the boat docks in the way. Well, we have to park angle weird, but we have to pull it up like there. Oh, yeah. All right. So we know there's a car. We can mess with it later, but let's keep searching because we're looking for a pickup. Yeah, we can come back and pull this one out. I feel like. Yeah, for no reason. I decided not to floor it. <laughs> just saw something on the sonar. At first glance, it looks like a truck. It looks just like a truck. But it's also, small. I was going and smaller. Well, I was going five miles an hour, so like, it wasn't a good scan. And we're shooting a hundred. Yeah, so it was teeny. Like, boy, it had a shape of a truck. What in the heck is that doing there? That is so weird. Look at this. There is nothing around here. Railroad tracks bridge. The boat ramp is on the other side, like a ways. Wait, maybe. There's a path over here that... But that he floated this hole? Is it, That's pointed? A, is it pointed? I mean, it could have floated. That's... That, that is wicked. That's ridiculous. That's a bill... That's... I mean, that's maybe under the bridge there's a way to get under here? There must... Oh, yeah. That's... See, right there, the opening? That's got to be where it came through. Yeah, right there. There's no other explanation. No, nah, yeah. That had to be. There's no way it would have floated this far. How wild. All right, well, I mean, that's truck. We got two missing people in the area. Two different trucks. 
So if it's so a, you're looking for a Tacoma or F-150? Yeah. Wow. Man, that just made me a heart. I was like, what is that? See, dude, you never know. See, I didn't even look, I didn't see that. Yeah, you gotta, I mean. Anywhere. You gotta really double check everything. Maybe he was a, maybe, maybe dude's a fisherman and he came back here and just kind of bloop, bloop, just went off. I don't know. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, like yeah. you said. But, you diving, right? You said you want to. Not our guy. What is that? Alright. It is like a white silver it's a, it's a ram. Ram? All the windows are <sighs> Alright. I don't know how to get you up here. Grab a I don't know, grab Grab that, I'll pull the anchor up and just pull you to the side. Man! What a shocker, not our car. Well, I saw a white, it was a white truck when I got down there. White or silver. The current was pretty good too, but not more than I thought. Yeah, it looked like it was it's moving a, a little bit. It's a, it's a Ram. It's a Dodge Ram. Yeah, all the windows are up though. The hood is up over the windshield, so no, no, I mean, it's got an air pocket in there. 
The hood's up it's, over the it's, wing. It's, yeah. So it's protecting the front, so I'm, but all, it, and it's facing the bridge. But all the windows are up, so it's kind of weird. Couldn't see inside it, I it's take got it. A big, no, it's got a big old bumper guard on the really? front. Big, huge, like... Any stickers on it? Like personalizing sticker? I don't know. I saw uh, the dealership logo on the back. What does it say? Uh, it said Alabama. Can't remember yeah. where. You want to do that car? Yeah, I'm going to dive the other one. All right. here. I don't know exactly how you want to. You want to do that car? Other... Yeah, I'm going to dive the other one. All right. So much crap you throwing in here. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's a cool, cool, cool older car. Yeah. It's like it's like bright blue. Like I don't know. It's like a shiny. I don't know. You know, it might look different out of water, but it's like a shiny, bright blue. The front headlights, like the ones that flip up. Oh. Uh, there's no tag. I pulled mirror and a part. I mean. It's. We might be able to get a part number off some one of some, one of these. It's got a cool little look to it. I mean, I think it's old. It's a back. Let's throw that back there for now. It's a cool color, cool look. Yeah, and the, the, the headlights are the ones that go up and down. It's all rusted to be, pieces. I mean, it's bubbling. It's pretty old. 
like this, I think if we pull it out, uh, it would mostly come out, but some maybe the door might fall out. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, one, the passenger door is kind of open. Fun. It'd be a cool one to pull out, though, I think. All right. Well, got that out of the way. Now you're going to get up in here and we continue this? Yeah, we'll keep on searching. All right. So we cleared, man, we cleared all the obvious spots. I mean, yesterday we was way north and cleared all of that section, found like three vehicles. You dove on them. Uh, they weren't our guy. And uh, today we came all the way south, finding out where he actually lived. And I really thought we was going to get answers today, but I think it's kind of a good thing we didn't because it is only three weeks. He could show up, you know, and I don't know the story behind this guy. I don't know his life. Yeah. You know, maybe he decided to go out and just do his thing. I don't know. I have no idea. But you know what? We searched all the obvious spots. And uh, so the search continues and hopefully, hopefully some answers will, will come up sooner or later. Yeah, I think we covered all the obvious spots. I want to come back and pull at least that truck and maybe that car we found yesterday out. I think we can get those out with our wrecker. Um, maybe we missed something. I don't know. Maybe somebody can uh, have another spot that we missed and tell us to come and we'll come back. This is the lake, but I didn't see any good spots on the lake. I mean, it's the only other body of water, but it's kind of out of the way in my opinion. But Neat. Well, if you guys are watching this and you're local in the area and you know some spots that we need to check, make sure to hit me up in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Keep us on the road and keep us motivated to continuing searching. We'll see you guys on the next video.